Hello YouTube people, this video is from the series where I bought a bunch of ultra cheap watches trying to find some good ones. This time I bought a digital watch. And to be honest, I never had a problem with ultra cheap digital watches, they're usually pretty good, especially SKME watches. And speaking about this specific SKME watch, it's rather special, because on official SKME store on Aliexpress, they have sold over four and a half thousand units of these watches. This is the most popular SKME watch of all times. So I really wanted to see what's up, why you guys like this watch so much. So let's take a better look. I have chosen the one with the red bezel because I think it looks nice. I just like the look of it. It has fairly bad negative LCD screen. Once you put it into shadow, you can't see anything. But the size of this LCD screen really helps a lot. It's a rather big watch but it's very comfortable. I will show you later on why it feels very comfortable. But first of all, let me tell you the benefits of such a large watch. Uh, in the winter time, when I wear a winter jacket, I really like that the watch stays outside on my wrist. It doesn't go under the sleeve. It's just too big for that. So for the winter, sometimes it's exactly what I want. A big watch that would stay outside on my wrist. So when I took this watch out of the packaging, I was just blown away how huge this watch is. And I will measure this watch, I'll put measurements in the description. But most surprisingly, when I put this watch on my wrist, it doesn't feel big at all. It wraps my wrist so nicely, even such a small wrist as mine, just 16.5 centimeters. It feels great. It doesn't feel too big. The reason being is that it shapes this very nice oval shape when you lock the watch. Like I lock it right now, look at this shape and it sits on the wrist so nicely, it doesn't press any points of my wrist unevenly, it doesn't create any discomfort once whatsoever. It's rather light to watch as well and I really like the idea of having so many holes on the strap. This watch I ain't gonna have any problems in a hot summer day or in some water activities maybe, it's gonna dry out rather quickly and your wrist I ain't gonna be sweaty. It is a little bit strange to see such a big watch being rated at just 50 meters of water resistance. But the previous watch I had of SKME also had just 50 meters of water resistance and I've been swimming with that watch quite a lot. So I wouldn't be afraid to swim with this one either, especially considering an ultra cheap price. Another nice thing about those ultra cheap digital SKME watches is that they are rather durable. I mean, just look at the size of this watch. I've seen several durability tests on YouTube done on this specific watch and they have survived quite a lot of abuse. So it's rather nice to have an ultra cheap watch which is rather durable. And just take a look at this crazy backlight. I will put a picture how it actually looks like because my camera struggles to get the exposure right. But it is strong to the point where I could actually use this watch as a torch to light up a keyhole at night. What is the functionality of this watch? On the main screen it has day, it has hours, month and date. It also has alarm function and it has very good stopwatch. Very nice buttons to use, very responsive and it also has split seconds. So this watch can be actually used as a proper fitness watch, which is very nice. Also has dual time and it has timer function. Timer function goes up to 24 hours. You can set hours, minutes, but you cannot set seconds. And that's all. What are conclusions? Where I gonna place this watch on my website, thomaswatchyvoos.com, where I rate watches into different tier lists. This one is a little bit of a struggle. I'm thinking between keepers and not bad. I was thinking about putting this watch into keepers because it's very cheap, very durable, and it's very good fitness watch and surprisingly comfortable. But I'm placing this watch into not bad because in a lot of situations where you would not struggle with positive LCD screen to see the time, you do struggle with this negative LCD screen and you do have to use this backlight function more often than you might think. And for that reason, this watch goes into not bad. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye. Guys, just take a look at this. I'm driving home right now after doing a review at my home, uh, at my mom's home place. I like just, it's such a nice snowstorm, little snowstorm, not too crazy, but first day of snow and it looks this good. This is wonderful. So I just wanted to make a little, you know, video at the end just to share the joy of the first snow.